Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to do this poinsettia. I really love the reds and the greens in this and we're really just going to simplify it and make it as easy as possible. All of the supplies that I'll be using today will be listed down in the description below along with the reference photo and if you want the line art too. And we're going to go in and start with our red. And I'm not worrying about the little uh, middle part here. We'll get that in afterwards. And I don't know how quickly this paper is going to dry, so I may end up uh, filling it in with water first and seeing how that goes. So I feel like it's kind of starting to dry a little bit already. Just grabbing a little bit more red. And then I'm going to grab my size 4 brush here and I'm going to grab this darker mixture that we uh, mixed up and I'm just going to tap this in and just see um, how well this is going to move. And it's, not going to move that well actually on this paper so I wasn't sure if um, this paper would you know bleed out um, and it doesn't seem like it's going to move a whole lot so So that could be good depending on how you like to paint, um, but I'm just going to leave that kind of like that. I'm just dabbing and picking up a little bit of this dark color. And I'm just going to see if I can't get this line a little bit darker here. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that and we'll move on. This is dry enough to do our green areas and I'm going to grab my green, make sure I've got enough water on there. So this was the sap green that we mixed up. I'm going to start getting this over here. And I'm pretty sure this spot is dry enough because so it seems like this paper dries a little bit more on the quick side for cotton paper, but not too terribly quick because I'm still able to get some some nice soft transition so nothing really created any hard edges but I think this paper is going to take some getting used to okay so same thing I'm going to grab this green now just grab a little bit of water to kind of remix that up and I might actually grab just a hint of uh, neutral tint because I feel like might need to be slightly darker to show up. So again, I'm just grabbing a little bit of neutral tint. Not just being careful where I get that because I don't want it to go too far into the middle. kind of like that. So I think I like that one. And then we should be dry over here.
Okay, so I really like how our second set of leaves and the petals turned out. You can see they're much more vibrant. They retained a lot more of the color. So I think that's because we used more paint and less water. So I'm going to see how these uh, three petals on the top here do with like glazing a little bit of color over. So I'm going to glaze some of this color that we have left over and sort of do like a, a second layer on them and just see if we can't get them to pop. Um, a little bit more and see if it does reactivate underneath or how it layers nicely or not. Now I am using this a little bit more concentrated because I also want to go in and just see if I can't lay down another little layer of this. And you can see like you really need a bit on your brush to kind of lay that in. But we'll see how that dries and I'm just going to do the same thing with this one here. I might try to add a little bit more yellow but i think um i feel like the yellow that we used the cool yellow is kind of uh, mixing in with the green a little bit too much so i'm going to grab my new gamboge which is which is more of a warmer yellow and just see if this will layer over a little bit uh, better and i'm getting it quite concentrated and i'm just going to do a few little dabs And then just a few little like lines kind of coming from them. And I'm just using my size eight brush because that's what I had in my hand. You could use a smaller brush if you need to. I feel like if I were to redo this middle area, I'd probably put the yellow down first um, so that it'd be nice and concentrated. And then I would kind of go around a little bit and do the green that way. So this is how our little card turned out today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you'll paint along with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.